If you are new to our channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for receiving latest updates on exams, research positions and guidance videos. So let's start the video. Hey guys, welcome to Inspire Chemistry. Today we'll be talking about the admission process and different criteria, different things and interesting things about ICERS. ICERS, Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, one of the top institutes uh, run by government in terms of education and research. There are about seven ICERS in the country, namely ISA Pune, Kolkata, Bhopal, Mohali, Trivandrum, Tirupati and latest Bahrampur. We have already made a video on the rankings of ISA in terms of their academics and research. So you can find this on this video and do have a look about their rankings so that you can decide where you want to go. So for getting admissions into ICERS, it's really important that you uh, see that you match the eligibility criteria. So let me tell you that ICERS are very good institutes and you should prefer uh, ICERS as compared to new IITs or even old NITs. The top four uh, uh, ICERS are very, very good in terms of education and research. So please do prefer uh, these four ICERS, which I've already talked about in their ranking. Other than that, in order to get into ICERS, you need to have a, a specific criteria of eligibility. In general, there is a fact that you need to have a 60% aggregate in your bachelor's. That means uh, you have got a score of uh, 6.0 out of 10 yeah, if you have a CGPA score. For those people who are just on the line, let's say they have an exact CGPA of 60% or 6 out of 10, then you are considered eligible and you can still apply. Uh, for reservation caste candidate, there can be a, a small decrease in the aggregate. It could be around 55%, but uh, still, you, if you are about 60, that is really good. And if you're belonging to SCST or OVC, it may be around 55%, but never sure. So you might uh, like to check the websites for this one. Other than this, uh, uh, if you, uh, they also have a specific uh, minor test, like in your bachelor, you must be having a uh, major course on chemistry and there could be a minor uh, subject as physics, as mathematics, as biology or environmental science. So mostly, uh, even if you don't have mathematics uh, in your bachelor's, if you want to go to top three or top four uh, I search, they will still ask you some mathematics in your uh, interviews. Like for, let's say you may be asked to draw a graph for X square what is the uh, like equation of a line of a plane so these simple things might be asked in your interviews for top uh, three or four ICERs other than this other ICERs are much more relaxed and if you say you don't have a mathematics that is totally okay and uh, they won't ask you mathematics so uh, you still qualify if you have other subjects in your bachelor's so again you would like to have a view on the official websites for this one Next thing up is uh, what, uh, what, how do ICERS shortlist candidates? So in order to go to ICERS, you need to have a qualification for JAM, that is Joint Admission Test for Masters. You've already got your ranks in the JAM 2021, and I hope uh, you must be having a good rank. So ICERS, uh, let's say, let's uh, talk about particular ICERS. So if you have a rank of under 800, or 800 uh, from 1 to 800 you can go for ICER Pune and ICER Pune makes sure that they always uh, send uh, interview calls for candidates who have less than rank 800. ICER Kolkata can uh, send you uh, the invitation for the interviews about till 1000 ranks. ICER Bhopal, may con ICER Bhopal and even new ICERs like Mohali, Trivindam, they may consider your rank about uh, 1500 till 1500. In ICER Mohali and Trivandrum, there might be some screening tests uh, like before interviews, they may take a screening test, small in screening test, just to make sure that you are also good enough uh, for their interviews. So uh, generally in COVID case, I, uh, as the COVID cases are rising again, uh, we fear that there might not be a, a actual uh, test this year. And uh, they also would prefer a uh, rank uh, of less than 1500. So uh, one thing that I'd like to point out is that uh, it doesn't matter which category you belong to, general, OBC, SCST, they will only send uh, invitation for interviews for the people who have a rank of less than 1500. So don't think if you are a SCST, you can get it at around 2000. No, it's not going to uh, work like that. Other than this, uh, interviews, uh, all ICERs, different ICERs have a different procedures, but you still need to qualify for the in final interviews to get uh, an admission there. So for ISA Pune and ISA Bhopal, you usually go through two rounds of interview. 
first is where they'll ask you about what your preferences and you then you have to talk we already have uh, two videos two three videos on icers you have icer pune you have icer kolkata and we already have few videos on different institutes in the country where you face interviews so those video you must watch because all the questions would be similar to them so you, all the links are in the description box where you can check them so please do have a look so uh, icer pune icer kolkata two rounds of interview uh, icer Sorry, Aisar Pune, Aisar Bhopal, two rounds of interview. Aisar Kolkata finishes in uh, one round of interview. New Aisars still, uh, sometimes they take two, sometimes they take one. So uh, that will be told to you when you put your application forward and they'll email you by May that you will be facing two rounds or one rounds of interview. But again, uh, in the COVID situation, uh, as you might be knowing, in 2020, the interviews were held online. So most probably 90% of the chance that interviews will be again online and you don't need to go to the institute itself. You have to manage a laptop or some specifications to get an interview on Zoom or different platforms. And if uh, it just in case uh, the ISAs want you to come to the institutes and give interview, you can also book. Uh, you don't need to stay outside in a hotel. You can if you put your application early and say that I want to stay in ISA uh, guest house or uh, in the hostel itself, they can give you accommodation for uh, them as well. So don't miss out on that opportunity. Other than this, uh, one of the important criteria in ISIS is that you get an integrated PhD. Integrated PhD means you can finish both your master's and PhD within six to six and a half years. Mostly in most uh, ISIS, it's around six and a half years to seven. So uh, it is really good because you can finish your both things. Like if you do separately MSc two years, PhD 5.5 years, that would take around seven and 7.5 years. But in, in PhD, you can finish in seven years. So you have, we've already made a video on MSc versus in PhD. In in PhD, uh, extra opportunity is that you actually get a stipend when you do work, both in your master's and PhD. For first two years, when you do your coursework, you get a fellowship of, uh, of around... Uh, 12,000 to 16,000 for ISA Pune and ISA Kolkata. For ISA Trivandrum and Bhopal, it's around 10,000. And for new ISAs like Bahrampur and others, it's around 12,000 to 16,000 per month. That is a really good you get to get independent. So we have already videos on that. So please do have a look. And uh, since application proce uh, procedures uh, and deadlines are around second week of March to April second week, uh, Already some ISAs have started the application. So go early and finish those applications. And uh, also if you find any difficulty in uh, filling the applications, uh, you can contact us and we will help try to help you. And do have a look on the uh, other videos that, that we have already made. And finally, we will uh, get you every notifications. Uh, as you know that uh, for some people, there might not be uh, the degrees or uh, other certificates that are lacking from the university side. So COVID-19 uh, will... Uh, guidelines will tell you for different uh, ISAs that they might just give you some relaxation regarding this that you can submit it after some days or uh, they'll give you some time for doing such things so if any other notification comes on the eligibility criteria or any changes related to COVID or uh, any new rules that comes in we will not notify you on individual ISAs so please bell, uh, press the bell icon so that you can get uh, all notifications at every time and you don't miss out any opportunity and do follow us do subscribe us and keep following us for more updates if you have any questions let us know in the comment box inspire chemistry we are here to help you thank you